Western Bar north of Los Angeles is the scene of the nation's latest mass shooting. 13 people are dead, including a sheriff sergeant and the gunman. Jennifer Borkland is in Thousand Oaks with the latest. Uh, we dropped and we heard the gunshots. Up. A lot of gunshots. A night of dancing and country music for students in a quiet community 40 miles outside of Los Angeles turns deadly. It's a horrific scene in there. There is blood everywhere. At least 13 killed, including the gunman and Sheriff Sergeant Ron Helis, who rushed into the bar moments after gunfire erupted. He died a hero because he went <clears throat> he, he went in to save lives, to save other people. The first shots just after 11 p.m. at the borderline bar and grill. Eyewitnesses say the shooter came in and immediately fired off several rounds from a 45 caliber handgun. Like he walked in. Didn't say one word, just pulled out a gun and started shooting. All we did was just kind of sit there and wait and just kind of play Doug, I guess. The gunman added to the confusion by setting off smoke bombs. The crowd inside immediately went into survival mode, throwing chairs through windows to make escape routes, helping each other get out and forming human shields by piling on to one another. A couple of us threw bar stools through the, the window because that was the closest way that we could get out, and then we were just shuffling people through the window as many as we could. The suspect was identified as Ian David Long. The 28-year-old was known to authorities. They don't know the motive or whether to call this an act of terrorism. This community, which is known as one of the nation's safest, is now looking for some way to cope with the heartache from what's happened here. Jennifer Bjorkland, Eyewitness News. And authorities say many family members have not heard from their kids who were there and are anxiously awaiting for word on whether their loved ones are among the injured or were killed.